<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to an interesting video. We are looking at the Camp Cretaceous website and I hope you, because it's going to be a long one, have your cup of tea. Tea break. So if you didn't know, on the 18th, I think it is of September, which is in like four days. Yes, four days. Uh, on Netflix, Camp Cretaceous will be coming out and they've, they have just released Oh, I think at least it's come to my attention. A uh, new Camp Cretaceous website where it, you go into a little bit of the story and all that jazz. And actually, a recent article came out where um, uh, Steven Spielberg said that this Netflix series won't hold any punches. So, I don't, I, it's kind of come this thing like, hold on, yeah, we should probably be on there. There we go, that's better, now you can see. <laughs> it's become this thing that um, people are very worried that uh, characters, children, or anybody, any sort of human cartoony character won't get killed in the, uh, in the, in the series. Now, can you honestly, be, uh, be, be truthful here, can you honestly see a version of this where Indominus rips into a person and cartoony guts comes out. Because we never got that in any of the Jurassic Park movies. Do you think they're going to do that with Camp Cretaceous? No. <laughs> People are going to die off screen. That's what's going to happen. They're going to get hoss skinned off. They're going to get PG-13 off screen. If, if we even get that close. It'll be an insinuation. There'll be like maybe a tiny bit of blood. And, and like their, their, you know, their hairband or or a part of their clothing, or a walkie-talkie. Th that was his walkie-talkie. And that, that's what you're gonna get. I, I still think it'll be a fun series. It's not gonna be this, wow, oh, nobody's gonna die, oh, I'm not gonna like it. I think I still will enjoy it, no matter PG-13 or whatever. So, without further ado, how about we have a look at this website? So here we go. Camp Cretaceous, your adventure starts here. Wow. Uh, learn about dinosaurs, explore the jungle, and more. Jungle in particular is okay. Well, let's go. Ooh. Welcome to Jurassic World's brand new state of the art adventure camp. Ooh. My name's Mr. DNA, and I'm here to show you the way through camp. No, you're not. You're a you fake. Discover dinosaurs, explore the campgrounds, and experience the wonders of science. Have fun, campers, and enjoy the adventure. Ooh, oh, so Ankylosaur there. Ooh, is that is Ankylosaur? Oh, well, I guess Bumpy's in it, isn't he? Okay, so we can go from the gates, the tree cabins, or tree top cabins, I should say, zip line, genetics lab, and Isla Nublar. Now, from the trailer, it looks like they start the gate, and then they maybe they come here, and then they go to maybe this is the process. I still think the zip line will be the end of the first day. Maybe they'll see the genetic labs on the second day. Maybe possibly the first. And then everything goes to hell after easily do Blood Jungle, I would assume. And that's looking similar to where we saw Blue in the first ever trailer. So let's have a look at Gates. While, ooh, watch Mr. D. Well, have we already done that? Yes, we've, we've already done this. We've already done this. But okay, let's play game. <gasps> Wait, what? Escape the enclosure. Does a game? What? Oh my god, we could have a multi-part series, guys! <laughs> well, right-click is jump, and... We, we'll, uh, click it twice? Oh, okay. Can I... Oh, I can do a double jump! Look at this! Watch out for the brambly bush! Oh, did I get hurt? What? Oh, there's rocks! Oh, new Camp Cretaceous looks amazing! This is what we've been working on. Is this a Frontier game? <laughs> is this what we've been waiting on? No! I did it. Did I do it? Or does he just die? Oh! You won! Ah, oh, get in! Look at that! Into the Jarrus! Oh, play again! Oh, okay. Well, we did it, guys. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Back to the menu! Let's do treetop cabins while we get copyright struck by everything. Uh, lights out story. Although Dave and Roxy had warned the campers that Ooh. they should get to bed in Let's preparation listen, for an early morning excursion the next day, no one could sleep. The adrenaline from that day's activities was running high, and for the first time, it wasn't fueled by some unforeseen danger that had arisen along the way. The campers sat in a circle in their common room, each one recapping what had made the day so special for them. Brooklyn could hardly contain her excitement. 
We got to see so much cool stuff today, there was truly something for every Brooklander out there to enjoy. This unboxing Jurassic World video got more engagement than anything I've posted since I've been here. What? Is this me? My spirits, she couldn't help but throw a good-natured <laughs> eye roll in Brooklyn's video. direction. <laughs> Why aren't I in this series? Beat hey! You in the gyrosphere races, then again on foot. Bloody Sam Universal could have had me! punched Yaz on the shoulder. <laughs> Stop goofing! Clearly the best part was being able to get up close and personal with the herbivores while they were grazing. Herb. The way herbivores. the Triceratops roam reminds me of the cows on my family's farm. Sure helps to make me feel less homesick. The herbivores? Kenji exclaimed. That's what you were most interested in? It's all about the carnivores, baby. Watching them during feeding time was absolutely unreal. <laughs> ben winced a bit at the mere memory of it. <laughs> I could have something. probably done without seeing nature in quite so much action, but I did really enjoy getting to learn more about the dinosaurs. Who could have guessed that our little bumpy will eventually grow to be twice as heavy as a rhino? Oh, they grow up so fast. One camper had been uncharacteristically quiet, which had not it's just gone one woman doing by all, the, all the things, isn't it? What all about you, dino nerd? Surely you, of all people, must have had a favorite part, Kenji commented. With a faraway look of contentment on his face, Darius absentmindedly rubbed his finger over the curved edge ah, of his raptor Ah, he's the main character, necklace, Darius. With the realization that this was exactly the kind of day he'd envisioned for him and his dad at the park. I'd assume. It was perfect, he mused. All of it. Aw, oh, that's nice. Oh, God, the copyright music. Okay, camp activities. Let's have a look at this. What it ooh Wait what? Discover Camp I, wait it's is this just what do I do? Is this download pages? Oh okay. Ooh, Sinoceratops, an herbivore <laughs> Trinosaurus Rex a carnivore <laughs> Wait no no I don't wanna Ah so that's the trailer. Ah gotcha, okay, so there's not much here. So that looks like where they're gonna be staying in the treetops there. I want to see the Brachostachosauruses. Camp adventure story or hear the di- Oh, let's hear the dinosaurs. Ooh. Oh, that's great. I can record this and use this in my videos. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, this is the Velociraptor sounds. Wait, that's it? Is that the only raptor sound? Brachiosaurus, you got like 20. Yeah, and raptors get that. That doesn't sound like any raptor sound I've heard before. It's not Jurassic Park. It's not The Lost World. It doesn't sound like Jurassic World. Hmm, it's an interesting raptor sound. Sino, okay. I like how Sino just gets, like everything, Brachiosaurus gets everything and everything else gets wrong. What about T-Rex? Sounds yeah, that that sounds like Rexy. That could be Rexy. And you know what? I I you could play a Carnotaurus sound, and I wouldn't be able to tell you what it was. <laughs> That's interesting. And they're, they're still kind of like, oh, Rexy's going to be in this one, so they must be on the island after the events of Jurassic World. They must be because Rexy gets released at the end of Jurassic World, right? Unless it's not canon. Oh, I really wish we didn't, we didn't have this argument about what's canon and what isn't. Just enjoy it. Was it. Day at Ooh, here Cretaceous, we go. And the campers were feeling restless. Their scheduled zipline adventure for the day had been canceled due to unforeseen weather conditions. Namely, a relentless rainstorm that seemed destined to devolve into thunder and lightning at any moment. Despite futile attempts to keep themselves entertained indoors, everyone was miserable. Their counselors Dave and Roxy came in to check on them at one point to confirm that they would in fact be staying put for the day. While a poncho could protect them from the rain, it wouldn't protect them from the possibility that a stray lightning bolt might decide to strike the zip line mid-excursion. Just before Dave and Roxy departed, the kids caught wind of some incoming ranger communication over the walkie-talkies. The walkie-talkies? Alert! We have an asset that needs immediate attention. A stegosaurus is injured on the other side of the island. Roxy, Thought it was gonna be Dave, a though. are you able to assist with this situation? Roxy replied immediately, saying, Copy that. 
Unfortunately, we can't provide backup at this time as we're en route to meet Miss Deering. <gasps> Before her getting out of the door in an attempt to brief Claire on some recent safety concerns that had arisen in the park. Darius perked up immediately. Did you hear that? He asked hurriedly. We have to figure out how to do something. Ben instantly objected, exclaiming, Oh, no, we don't. If, if even Dave and Roxy aren't going, then there's certainly nothing we can do. Besides, how are we even supposed to figure out where they are? Oh, I don't know, Rick. For ben, he was quickly outnumbered, <laughs> and the rest of the campers were quick to brainstorm the most effective transportation method when Kenji piped up. We may not be able to zipline from the observation tower, but that doesn't mean we can't climb up there and get a vantage point. We'll go up there just long enough to figure out where they are, and we can develop our plan of action from there. Normally, this might have taken more convincing, but the collective restlessness plus the knowledge that it was a relatively harmless stegosaurus removed the group's hesitation. Even Ben what was on board. What are these kids doing? The prospect of facing the thunder alone and potentially having to explain everyone's absence to Roxy if she returned suddenly wasn't much more appealing. Much to everyone's dismay, the path to the stegosaurus wasn't quite as clear as they'd hoped. Despite their determination to peer deep into the canopies, none of them could say with certainty that they'd spotted the location where the rescue was taking place. Just as they were about to give up, Sammy called out. It's long enough. Look! Down there! Everyone's gaze followed her outstretched finger, which was pointing to two rangers who were running on foot, clearly in response to something frantic. Y'all, I bet they've been called us back up. They're sure to lead us right to that poor stegosaurus. Are they gonna have and these accents in the, in the series? Headed? Ben objected, but to no howdy! The rest of the group was already racing down the stairs even more quickly than they ascended in an attempt to keep the rangers trail. Despite their best efforts, their tracking skills proved to be no match for what was now just shy of a torrential downpour. Any semblance of footprints was quickly erased as the dirt beneath them transformed into mud. No! Between that and the consistent thunder which drowned out any voices that would normally serve as guidance, the group quickly realized they were lost. In what seemed to most certainly be a definitive sign that it was time to turn back, their progress was suddenly curtailed by a tree branch that had been struck down by lightning disturbingly nearby. Disturbingly? As the sun Ooh. continued its descent and panic began setting in, the group became increasingly nervous. Initially, their fears were centered around the possibility that Dave and Roxy would beat them back to camp and their defiant exploits would be revealed. But the stakes immediately raised right. as they heard an ominous roar in the distance between thunder breaks. Oh. The group looked at one another fearfully. Indominus? Um, what kind of dinosaur was that? Kenji asked Darius somewhat frantically. For the first time, Darius was stumped. With the gravity of the situation now undeniable, Brooklyn noticed a black van driving towards them. That's an asset containment unit transport. Those rangers were probably out on this rescue mission, and if we flag them down, they can take us back to camp. Everyone began waving frantically, desperate to secure this sure effort at returning to the warmth of their cabin. To their relief, the van slowed to a stop and opened its doors to let the campers in. Exclaiming their gratitude, they explained their situation and convinced the rangers to give them a ride back to their cabin. Sheepishly, Ben asked, Bye. You're... You're not going to tell our counselors, are you? With uncanny timing, a walkie-talkie chirped, and Roxy's voice came through loud and clear. No! Don't worry, she said. They won't have to. Ooh, they've been caught out of bed! <laughs> so, that's interesting. So you got these kids on the island, all having fun, but that's not enough. They want to they want to be part of the action. They want to see more of the dinosaurs or, and what have you. A rogue tree branch falls disturbingly close to them. And then they get, then a van comes and takes them back. Um, okay, okay. But it gives a little bit of insight into what we can expect from their uh, behaviors. They they kind of want to there's obviously more that they want to explore. I mean, the kids, they're inquisitive, right? They're naturally inquisitive. I quite like it. I don't know. As a kid, I think I'd be... Like, as a young kid, I'd really be into this. Like, oh, yeah, let's go. Let's go see the rest of the island. Shh, don't tell the adults. <laughs> that sort of thing. Ooh, let's go to Genetics Lab. Another Netflix trailer. Ooh, we can watch an air catching. Bumpy. Come on. Come on, little one. Oh, it is a little bumpy. 
<laughs> oh, he's adorable. Look at him. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I want to watch again. More bumpy. Hatch more bumpies. <laughs> oh, he's so cute though. Look at him. So obviously, this is like... I'm wondering if these are the final shots. Because with animation, what they can do, I mean, they can animate it all. And then they can just like set up another camera, like a still camera, and then just re-render it. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is the final animation, but not the final uh, shots that we get. That and it looks like... Is there any volume? Is there anyone talking? He's okay. Nagi gi gi Crush him. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, so that is probably what is going to happen. The fact that it's not a complete egg hatching and it cuts tells me that's when the camera pans away to like them like giving expression and, and then something happening. The, the texture looks great. I love it. He's so glossy. He's got a blin or a fong on him. Do you have a fong? <laughs> yes, you do. And that's a, a oh, not a thong. <laughs> it's a 3D turb, it's fine. Okay, we can listen to the lab. Are the assets ready for introduction into the wild? This is a weird lab. The results insinuate that asymmetry is possible. Dr. Wu! Dr. Wu won't agree. Run them again. Analysis of the tree frog DNA has determined that it is in fact possible. Is that BD1? Stegosaurus has successfully maintained homeostasis with zero assistance. Acid is approved to be released. I wouldn't be surprised. Accelerated cycle is complete in Group J. This is Indominus. Hatching is a success. Alert the rangers for pickup. These clinical trial results are far below projection. Increase hormone levels and reduce rotation by 14%. Is that clear? Migration patterns are appropriate for this time of year. It sounds Have the like rangers it could be. leave Herd M alone, track their interactions, and deliver the results by the end of the day. Ooh. <sighs> They're hatching. Quick, turn the monitors on. It's definitely. It's definitely not Bryce Dallas Howard doing the voice, but that could be Claire. The way she's quite analytical. Um, and she did. She did. In Jurassic World, she mentions, oh, it ate her sibling. And if she was there for the birth, and then it, like, later on killed the sibling, that would make sense. I don't know. I mean, she was de she was more like a, a presence throughout the whole park than just in the lab. But especially if she's taking interest, you know, and this is the big thing, the big attraction, this Indominus Rex, it would make sense for her to play a more of a integral role into the Indominus Rex's upbringing and life and stuff like that. Well, not obviously not upbringing, but like, you know, it's in the lab and stuff. She wants to keep an eye on it because this is going to generate a lot of income and all that jazz. That's it. What's top secret research, eh? What's this? <gasps> it's somewhere we shouldn't be, guys. Woo! <laughs> Select images with dinosaurs to enter. Wait, what if I do it wrong? Enter. Oh, wait, I can't click. Oh, I was hoping it'd be like, I just died. Wee woo, wee woo. <laughs> okay, fine. Enter. Top secret files. 3D dinosaur blueprints or memo to Dr. Wu. Ooh, let's do memo first. Dr. Wu, are you there? Something's wrong. The asset is out of containment and no one can find it. You just had to add the frog DNA. Did you plan for what happens next? Damn frogs. I don't know if you'll get this in time. Landlines are down and my cell service has been cutting out. If you do, I just want you to know the park is in trouble. We're all in trouble. Ooh. Don't know who that is. Obviously, somebody trying to contact Wu after Indominus Rex has broken out. Let's have a look at these three uh, 3D dinosaurs. Wait, what? Oh, that's cool. Oh, look! Hold on. Hold on. Can we zoom in? Enhance. 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 Oh, wait. That's as close as we can get. Oh, look at that. We have Dr. Wu. And he's, like, stylized as if... He would be in the series. Now, would they go to all the effort of doing that if he wasn't in the series? I don't think so. I think we're going to see Dr. Wu. And that sounded like BD Wong, the voice actor or the actor. Um, oh, okay, let's have a look. Indominus Rex. <gasps> Ooh, it's like a raven here. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I mean, stuff like this isn't too hard. I love the refracting uh, ground at the bottom. That looks so cool. Okay, let's, what does one do? Mouth. Oh god. Ability to swallow a human in a single cup. She also cho chooses to kill for sport. 
not by necessity. Well, did you know this before? Okay. Brain. Big brain. <laughs> Able to communicate with other dinosaurs she hybridized with, such as raptors. Hmm. You know, with stuff like this, I'd like it if it was... Like, that sort of things that it felt like they were just finding out on the flying Jurassic World. It'd be cool if there was other things. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, this is this, it's interesting. And three claws. And Donus Rex was oh god. Uh, can I can I keep this still somehow? Was oh there we go. Was created with genes from Iconotaurus for the prominent eyebrow horns. Giganotosaurus for immense size. The dinosaur Rugops and Majungasaurus for prominent scale ornamentation. And the Therizinosaurus for frighteningly elongated claws. So hold on. I mean, I don't think it was ever known what Indominus Rex was made out of. So you're telling me that Indominus Rex is made out of Carnotaurus, Giganotosaurus, Rugops, Majungasaurus, Therizinosaurus, T-Rex? Is it T-Rex? Maybe T-Rex? That's not confirmed. Definitely Velociraptor, Tree Frog, Cuttlefish. That's eight things. And... Six of them are dinosaurs that it's made out of. I don't think we've ever had a um, a legit like count for the things that Indominus Rex is made out of. It's always been a bit of a mystery. Ooh, let's look at Ankylosaurus. Oh, look at you. Who's a cutie? Yes, you are. Well, no, we want to start at number one. The tail. A hit, a hit by Ankylosaurus tail club generates over 400 mega... What's that? What's that for a word? Megaparcels? Mega, megapulls? Megacles? Of force. More than four times the impact stress needed to break bone. Bag armor. Ankylosaurus was covered from head to tail in ostoderms, or bones that grow in the skin. Even its eyelids had armor. Mm. Let's go into Stego. Oh, there it is. The classic droopy tail, sad doggo stegosaur. <laughs> uh, face. Stegosaurus mostly communicates with hoots and grunts, but they can make a high-pitched alarm call when threatened. More like, ah! <laughs> You hear that? The stegosaur's in trouble. Oh! Oh! <laughs> What's that noise? It's the stegosaurus. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, no, I want to see the stomach. Despite being a massive prickly dinosaur, Stegosaur has a very tiny has very tiny teeth. Uh, these limit the herbivore to a diet mostly of soft foods like ferns. And tail. While plates of Stegosaurus are flashy visual displays, the herbivore carries a dangerous tail. Stegosaurus can swing its spike studded tail at 40 miles per second, or 40 meters per second. 40 miles per second! Wow! <laughs> Kill anything. Uh, fast enough to pierce flesh and bone. I interested they didn't say Thagomizer. I thought that would be a cool one for kids to know. It's always been one of those things that, like, I know a kid who's like, oh, it's actually a Thagomizer. And they'd be like, oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, Paris Rolf is my babe. My baby. What the heck's going on with its tail there? You haven't done its skin weights properly. Eey. Well, anyway. Oh, maybe it's supposed to look like that. Head horn. No! When alarmed, Parasolophus make noise like a bassoon. <laughs> it can make a deafening below. Thanks to its hollow crests. Anyone gets that reference? Bassoon. The teeth of Parasolophus were set in closely packed dental batteries. Uh, and the movement of their skull bones allowed these dinosaurs to chew in different way than animals do. So like left and right, kind of? Or a different way? I was just like, cows do that though, don't they? They go, they go left and right. Legs. Well, there's very little information on this. A biped. <laughs> Sorry. A biped. It can walk on two legs. Great. Glad that we're spending thousands on this research. It's, it's just absolutely brilliant. Okay. So that is all for the classified information. We don't have... We have Indominus Rex in there. That's interesting. No sign of indoor... Forties! Four... Oh, we can't, we can't access photos. Ooh. So we are, we've done that. We've done Watch Egg. We've listened to the lab. <gasps> We're on to like the last one. Is the new blood jungle. Uh, ooh, dino discovery, campfire story. And let's, let's do a campfire story. Another day, another lame dinosaur. Outing. All right, sorry about the lag there. Kenji is unimpressed to say the least. After all, he knows this park like the back of his hand. He probably knows it even more than his counselors, Dave and Roxy. Or so he tells himself. 
Rather than fawn over the baby dinosaurs like his easily impressed yeah, peers. Yeah, he wants to see carnivores. Until everyone else is sufficiently distracted while waiting to get their feeding supplies. Then turns away and decides to do some solo exploration. His go-to route is to take the tunnels. After all, nothing is more VIP than navigating the park from underground. He's navigated to this entry point dozens of times. It's just second nature for him. At this point, he has wandered quite some distance. But it's that no explains matter. why he was in the Once raptor enclosure. He'll be able to find his way back easily. Oddly enough, when he does find the spot he was looking for, it turns out to be locked. Just his luck. Kenji's initial reaction is one of annoyance. He wasn't prepared for this day to get even lamer. If he had to walk back to the camp, Who uses he'd at that least hoped it would be oh. shaded from the hot sun. This annoyance begins to evolve into a panic as he hears some roars that aren't quite as far off in the distance as he would have hoped. He picks up his pace from a leisurely stroll to a purposeful power walk. The panic escalates as he looks down and sees some dinosaur tracks that are significantly larger than the ones he'd seen at the feeding enclosure earlier. Now running, he realizes he's lost his way, both due to the lack of familiarity provided by the tunnels and the fear that has fully replaced his boredom. Before he can get back on track, he's just he so sees cool. the culprit of both the tracks and the earlier roars, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, oh. which is now far too close for comfort. Fully aware of his athletic limitations, Kenji acknowledges his inability Kenji to beats up the T-Rex. Things were to escalate to a chase, <laughs> so he weighs his options. In a fit of desperation, Kenji sees a nearby ditch as an opportunity for shelter and jumps in without a second thought. What feels like an hour later, the T-Rex retracts out of sight and earshot, and Kenji sheepishly emerges and slowly makes More his way sheepish. back to the feeding enclosure. I like that this word. This was not exactly the underground adventure he'd had in mind when he veered off. Oh. <laughs> it's just like, kids in Jurassic Park cannot be killed or have anything go wrong. <laughs> like, I bet what happened in the last world when that, the, the girl was being attacked by the combies, what really happened is she was just like laying the smack down, ripping their heads off, and then the parent was like, No! It's just a murderer! <laughs> <laughs> what are you telling me? There's like everyone's all the adults are dying and yet like a kid comes face to face with a T-Rex and is like, oh, I'll jump in the ditch and Rex is like, oh, let's just go, go, I guess I'll go past. Just send their kids in, man. Send their kids, they'll be fine. Dinosaurs can't kill kids, apparently. <laughs> Alright, well, let's have a look at uh Dino Discovery. Ooh, look, there's Carnotaurus. There's that little toast. He's nine foot five. Ooh, he's quite tall. 2.1 tons and as a carnival. T-Rex is 17 feet, uh, 8.4 tons and is a carnival. Mm. Sinoceratops. Wait, what? Oh, I guess it's the crest. I was gonna say, is Sinoceratops like way bigger? But yeah, I guess if, if the crest kind of just gives it the extra height, I suppose. So it's 13 uh, inch, 13 inches, <laughs> 30 foot, seven inches, uh, one ton, really? Wow. No, it can't be. You can't tell me that Carnotaurus, being smaller, weighs twice as much as a sign. Look how much bone that is. And it's a big tank. You can't tell me Carnotaurus is. You got that wrong, guys. That's not right. Diet herbivore. That's, that's probably right. Five foot five. Ooh, Velociraptor. That is blue, though. That's interesting to see. Blue's uh, actual color uh, and model. Hmm. Looks a bit different. Looks kind of like a generic raptor head. Um, and then they just kind of gave it the blue coloring. And it's generic raptor, I suppose. Um, five foot five, 226 kilograms and a diet. And finally, here we go. I bet this weighs two tons. <laughs> the Prachysaurus, 40 foot seven inches, uh, 56 tons and is a herbivore. And also eats volcanoes, don't you? Yes, you do, yes, you do. Um, and finally, the ranger messages. Ooh, let's listen. This isn't all clear. You have the green light to bring the herds back to their nighttime enclosures. Over. Stegosaurus Group 1 is headed your way. Keep an eye on the babies. They're energetic today. Over. There are babies in the water. Do you in have the a status enclosure? on the Triceratops herd? I only count six of the seven. Over. Oh, one's dead. Confirm sighting of the seventh Triceratops. Oh, it's okay. Guiding her back to you now. Over. Go on, Lady Margaret. Raptors are fed and secured for the evening. Lock up and head out. Over.
The latest ankylosaurus specimen has been introduced to the herd. Check back at 1500 huh? hours to Is that bumpy? Is bumpy see mama? Ricky, you want to grab lunch? Cafe's got rice pudding today. Over. Ooh. Oh, I could go for that. It, Jerome. Meet at the raptor enclosure in 15. Over. Uh, rice pudding's all yours, Ricky. I'm grabbing a slice of the triple chocolate today. Over. The raptors have been contained and the enclosure is safe to enter. You may proceed. Over. Were they not? The Parasaurolophus herd is moving east. Watch their distance near the Brachiosaurus is drinking in the lake. Over. Assets are not secure. Please hold. Over. Did you hear me? I said to stay inside. Over. Hurry! It's gaining on us! Over! Secure the padding! Over! Who is that Indominus Rex? Ooh, that may- Oh, maybe they're stampeding out? Maybe that was the Stegosaurs? Yeah. Did, I do, did I do it all? I think I did it all. Well, guys, there you have it! A little- I guess, well, we kind of looked into everything. And a little sneak peek at what we could be expecting to see in uh, Camp Cretaceous. So Camp Cretaceous, I think, is coming out on the 18th. I could be wrong, but it's really, really soon. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know if I'm going to do, like, a review, per se, of it. Um, and I can't, we can't watch, like, I'd love to live stream it, but there's no way. There's no way, like, YouTube, my, my channel will be gone. It'd be like, no, nope, copyright, take him down! <laughs> uh, and I don't even know if you can do it on Twitch. Maybe you can do it on Twitch. Maybe we'll do that. So I'll, have a, I'll have a look into it. But, um, definitely after it's released, or I'll watch it. And then in preceding videos, maybe I'll make a dedicated video. But I'll probably mention it quite a lot in videos after that. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that video, you're hyped for Camp Cretaceous. Leave a like and until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye.